guys welcome back to colouring care before i get started on to what i'm going to be doing today um i'd just like to say i'll move my book out the way just like to say a huge huge thank you to debbie from colour me stress free um i got some happy mail um yesterday and it was this gorgeous pink desk mat um she sent it with a little note that said, I felt like you needed some pink in your life because I've been um, I've been filming just directly on my desk, which is very, very white. So this is lovely to have this. It was so kind of her. Um, it's my birthday on the 24th of June. So she sent this as an early birthday present for me, which is just so kind. So I'd just like to say thank you, Debbie. So bring you back in. So today, um, I was requested from a subscriber um, if I would recreate a page she'd seen of mine. Um, this was the page that she'd seen um, on my intro videos. And she was asking if I would kindly show her how to recreate this. Um, this was done some time ago now. I think it was three two or three months ago. Um, and I'm murder for not writing down what pencils I've used or keeping a log of what pencils I've used so I'm not actually sure of the exact pencils but I know it was our teaser so I've matched them up to what I think they definitely are and hopefully I'm able to recreate this um, but I will say it's always a learning curve for me I am still relatively new to colouring um, I think it's been around six months now maybe um and skin is one of those things that's very hit and miss with me sometimes i'll get it spot on sometimes it's really terrible so i'm not confident to say that every time i pull a clean coloring page out that i will hit it on the head because that's not the case so hopefully this will turn out nice and this will give you some ideas and obviously i'm going to put my um pencils in the video the names and numbers of the pencils so that if you do want to color color along or you know use it as a tutorial you can do that um so i'm going to try and recreate it on this page another mr cat mirrors page because i just feel like it will look really nice on this one and again i could almost turn her into an alien and give her black eyes or red eyes um something like that something similar so let's get stuck in to this picture so the first color i'm going to use is an arteza pencil i might bring you in a little bit i'm going to put it on an angle just because i am left-handed <laughs> the way this camera's set up i'll just pull this up in case you can't see it very well so it's the arteza a101 lime green so that's the colour I'm going to put on really lightly first. Just find the pencil. Got it. Right. So I always start with a really pale colour first and then I go over really, really lightly. I do a really light coat all over the face. Um, sometimes I leave areas out like where you would normally get some light like here and um, possibly here and on the cheekbones where the light would hit um other times i use my lightest shade all over without leaving any white and then i go in with a darker shade and another darker shade but not going over those parts so all you see when you've gone over the rest with the darkest shade all you'll see coming from underneath is your lightest shade and that's what gives it the um the glow so i'll start off i'm just trying to think if that's part of the yeah that's part of the hair there so we'll start here so i've been trying to watch this weekend um the harry potter color of fonts has anybody been in those streams i really i love harry potter i've watched it so many times and then when the last one was made i started watching the fantastic beasts because i really enjoy that as well i know some people don't like it but i really do 
really like it. So I enjoyed Sammy's stream. I love the quizzes. <laughs> I think it was getting a bit competitive in there with him. He could answer the fastest. Um, but I love it. It's just it's just good fun, isn't it? I do actually have three images of Fabiana Atanasios. Um, I've got the three main characters. I've got Ron, Harry, and Hermione. So I might after I've done this, I might colour one of those to join in. Post mine on my Instagram. So this is the first time I'm colouring on my new desk mats. I was really chuffed. My partner went to the door and he's like, what have you, what have you ordered? <laughs> I'm panicking, thinking I've not ordered anything. Oh no, what have, I, what, have I, what have I ordered? And I'm thinking, no, I've definitely not. Definitely not ordered anything. And then it turned out to be off Debbie. <laughs> Oh, that was hilarious. Hilarious. So if this turns out nice, if it's not totally ridiculous, do I need to... I'm just wondering if I need to get real close, but then I don't want to have that shadow. When it comes down, it puts a... If I put it that way. I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing a bit better. That's a bit better, isn't it? And then I'll just zoom out when um, the time comes. So we normally have, if you think about where the light would hit naturally on a face, it's anything that sticks out above, above the rest, if you know what I mean. So it's normally where your bones are. Um, so you would get a natural light here on the forehead doing the centre of the nose and um, this is why when women contour they put the lighter shade down the centre of the nose and then the dark at the sides also the chin uh, around here and um, the light would be on the chin there also Um, so that's sort of what I go off to start off with like I said I'm not a professional at skin in no way shape or form it's one thing I do struggle with, um, but we're all learning. Everybody's constantly learning. So yeah, I think I actually, on my other image, um, I think I actually didn't lay any colour down at all on these bits. I think I left it totally white. Um, so I might do that again this time. So if you just, where the light would hit, so here, possibly here, down the centre and a little bit of chin there, if you just leave it out. Um, it doesn't have to be too neat at this stage, Just you're just roughly guiding out where you want colour and where you don't at this stage. I'm going to have to get myself another Mr. Cat Mirrors boot though. I really enjoy um, colouring these in the paper. I find the paper really lovely to work on as well. Really lovely. So I apologise now if you've not got a brew in hand. Go and make yourself a brew. Pause this video. Go make yourself a brew because I might be here for some time with this skin. <laughs> it does take a while though, you know, if you if if you wanna get a good result you need to do light layers on skin. Um that's just just you know how you're gonna get the best result. Take your time and really light layers because once you go into your dark it's harder to correct, isn't it? As with anything. So, so far I've done a fur tutorial, but it wasn't really a tutorial, it was basically just a speed colouring. Um, so that you could see the sort of, the strokes that I was doing. Um, and how easy it was to just layer it up. Just do tiny, tiny little flicks. 
and just keep going over more and more layers and I normally use for the mouse that I did um, I think I used three colours uh, three browns different shades of brown um, so that was it basically I'm just thinking what else people might like to see me do if there's anything you can think of um, just drop me a comment and I will try my best <laughs> as always I try my best I do do a lot of my colouring at night when the kids have gone to sleep because otherwise the house is just too noisy. I think my last video was the um, quarantine tag supplies in quarantine tag and my son in the background, bless him. He follows me everywhere you see. So noisy. I'm sure people don't mind. I did um, mention at the start of the video that it was going to be rude. So as you can see, I'm leaving the cheekbones, um, well, sort of, it's more under the eye, um, because the cheekbones are right in here and right under there, so it's going to be dark, that you're going to have a shadow here, you? Um, so you're going to go in, in with a dark green later there, but, um, yeah, a bit white around here, and then the sides of the nose, I'm going to be darkened up shortly. I'm going to leave it white in the centre of the nose. Still in shot here, we're still in camera, still in frame, should I say. So I'm going to go up in a sort of, I'm going to take this green up to the eyebrow there. Um, just to start off with. So I'm always using small circular motions because I find that's the best way to get a soft result when you're not getting the harsh lines. So roughly like that and you can see where it's coming together but at this point it shouldn't be too dark. You just like I say, you're just building the structure and you're just mapping out everywhere at the moment. So he's been cat he's been colour colour yeah. Cat talk. Who's been colouring the Harry Potter pictures this weekend? Any of you joined in with that? Have you got Fabiana's prints or have you been colouring in something else? Right, so that is the nose mapped out for me there, as you can see. Now I need to go in here and not burn the eye. Sometimes I do leave a bit of white above the eyebrow, sometimes I don't. It just depends how I'm feeling, to be honest. I thought I'd come on and use my Arteza pencils as well because um, I don't actually own a full set of um, expensive pen expensive branded pencils. Um, I only have the budget ones. I have a I have the Scorpion set of the Black Widows. I have the full set of Castle Arts, and I have the full set of the Arteza One Twenty. Um, I absolutely love these Artezas. You just cannot beat them. I got a small set of Prismacolors. Uh, it was the manga set, and I think it's a really unpopular unpopular opinion but I really didn't I've really not like warmed to them I really don't I really prefer these Artezas so much 
Um, more recently I got a handful of the Luminance, Caran d'Ache Luminance and a handful of the Holbeins. Um, I really love the Holbeins, really, re they're really soft. Um, and I, I do like the Luminance as well, but they're totally different pencils. Totally different pencils. I found the Luminance really good for when I was doing the fur. Um, I was using a particular shade of Luminance. I think it was the Sepia um, from the Macy's Fur. It was brilliant because it kept that sharp point and that's what you need when you're doing fur. You need a sharp point. So any softer pencils like your Holbein's, your Prismacolors wouldn't work as well on fur. It, you'd find it quite hard. But yeah. And also I think I think a lot of colourists do tend to use the more expensive brands and then um, new colourists that come onto the scenes, they find it difficult to follow tutorials or follow um, colour alongs because um, they might not know how to convert the pencils. So that's another reason I thought it'd be nice to do this and use the Arteza pencils. Hopefully you've all got them. If not, I think it... I can't remember which colourist has done a conversion chart for all the pencils. Um, I really can't remember who it was. I don't know if it was Colour Eclair or... I think Vicky might have done one. Or Sammy. Um, yeah, you'd have to try and have a gander. Have a little snoop and see if you can find out who it was who'd on the conversion chart but yeah so when I get to the nose where the hash where the um line is where I'm leaving the white I'm just very slowly teasing the colour towards the middle and as I'm pulling it through to the middle I'm lifting my pencil off so it's starting off with quite not hard touch but sort of a medium touch and then very light almost not touching the page when you come to the centre and that's just gonna blend the colour in without the line being too harsh you just tease it in almost teasing the colour in So these greens, I actually think I work better with greens than normal skin tone colours. I find it really difficult to get a, a proper normal, you know, skin tone. I find it really hard. And green, like, it <laughs> just feels easier for me and it's not normal, is it? <sighs> oh well, maybe I, maybe I should just um, surrender to colouring aliens all the time. <laughs> Oh, it's Olivia's. So yeah, I think I'm pretty much happy with that filled up. So that is all. All that is done with the uh, teaser. One zero one lime green, and now I'm gonna switch to my middle tone colour, which is actually a Prismacolor. This one. Because I couldn't find, um, I couldn't find the correct tone that I wanted, uh, the correct middle tone. So I've had to use this. But if you can find anything that's a touch, a touch darker than the one you've put down, not too much, just a little bit darker than the one you've put down. Um, find a pencil. So this is the Prismacolor PC. 989 and I cannot pronounce that chartreuse chartreuse no clue but yeah so with this one I'm just gonna go go over um basically where I've already been um slightly darker where you would where it would be darker in the shadows so up here round here so basically round the outsides of the face because the hair would be creating a shadow all over here and all down this side here 
so I'm gonna do in fact that's not her that is that forehead there it's hard to work out the hair sometimes I think that's the forehead them two little bits there yeah you know what it is it is it that oh my yeah I think it is right I'm just gonna go back in with my first shade my lime green because I'm feeling like that should be skin um yeah I'm feeling like that should be skin if it's not it's tough now <laughs> This is just the lime green that I'm just filling in the gap that I missed. Just pale again. Right, there we go. That's better. Yeah, that, that looks much better. So yeah, so now this is this colour. And I'm going to start off where I've just said you would naturally find it darker. And you just want to use small circular motions again. Always start darker. And then as you come in towards the middle, you need to gradually lift the pressure off lift the pressure off lift the pressure off more and more the more you get to the middle the less pressure you should be putting on because you don't want to have a harsh line where you're stopping you see So I'm just going to do the skin for you today on this video and then off camera I'll probably complete the rest of the picture. And then I will put that on my Instagram, the completed picture. So if you want to follow me on there, I'm the same name as on here so it doesn't get confusing. So it's at Colouring Care on Instagram. If you want to follow me on there and then you'll see my completed pictures started so darker in this corner so this is the middle tone as well don't forget so we don't need to go in very harshly because we do have another dark color where we can go into the very very edges with the dark color so we're just all we're doing with this is we're gradually building our colour up. What colour do you think I should do her eyes guys? As well, because I'll be doing it off camera so you can comment below what, what you think I should do her eyes. Do you think I should do them like I did the other green girl with black eyes? Or do you think I should give her red eyes? It's going to be black or red. Let me know in the comments. I'll take your suggestions on board. <laughs> I think it was Beth what requested me to do this. So I hope you find this helpful, Beth. And thank you for requesting it. I think when someone requests something, it can actually push you in a nice way to do something that you avoid and I'm like I probably wouldn't have started another picture like this just because like I say I'm very hit and miss with my skin Um, so I didn't want to mess it up <laughs> when someone's requesting something but you know when, when you push yourself when somebody else pushes you you can be proud that you know when you get a good outcome I'm really liking how this is turning out you see these are teaser pencils are just they're just brilliant they just blend so beautifully they lay down so beautifully and they seem to be really good on this paper this mystic art mirrors book they're really good in them like sometimes when i'm coloring in books i end up getting lines like indentations from the paper and when you're doing skin that's not what you want you want a smooth end result and with some paper, you're constantly getting indentations and lines from the tooth of the paper. And I really don't like that. Um, this is really nice, really smooth. That's probably why it looks quite nice at the minute. So I'm going to go directly under the lip, not the chin, but directly under the chip. Uh, chip. 
kitchen it would be dark under here just because you've got that shadow of your lip so I'm going to place that a bit darker there but if you do it really light layers really light layers really small circular motions you know you, you're gonna be good you're gonna get a good result and you can always if you don't want to jump straight in in one of your best books um trying something like this out print something off or use a book that you're not really interested in coloring in scan a scan a page in print it off and practice on that you don't have to delve straight into the picture that you want to colour. You can sort of have a practice run. I sort of did that to find these shades because like I said, I hadn't logged the pencil numbers that I'd used on the other page. So, yeah, I had to go through my colours and sort of work out what I thought would work well. That's why I've ended up with one Prisma colour because... I couldn't find the right shade I wanted with the Arteezers. So I'm just thinking this one hasn't got any M's or anything. So this is very, very simple. Just the face that I need to do. The other girl had, um, it was like her head wasn't on her body and then the arms was just coming out to the sides. Really, I really love her style, um, Mr. Cat Mirrors. Really love the style. It's creepy but beautiful, creepy, isn't it? It is really beautiful. So it's coming together now. You can see the colour building, you can see it darkening where it's supposed to be. Darker, you're leaving your white parts that you've set out at the beginning. Gonna go in with the dark on the forehead here. Or the medium, this is my medium shade. I'm just checking we're still recording because that's my best trick that thinking it's recording and then spend like 40 minutes thinking you're recording and thinking oh that's turned out great and then you look at your phone to stop it and it was never recording <laughs> that's the story of my life that's what I did with my first attempt at her eye colour fur video um I was actually doing it on the squirrel picture that I did in the furry tales boot by Emily Lydell Hall L what's the name what's the last name now Lydell Orberg that's it Emily Lydell Orberg um, and I was actually recording how I do fur on that picture of the squirrel. Um, yeah, I was not best pleased that that didn't record because it turned out absolutely perfect. And then when I did the mouse, um, it was I just didn't feel it was as nice as the squirrel. Right now under here, it will be a little bit darker because of the shadow from the hair. But what I don't want to do is create a harsh line. Um, I don't want it to appear like a really blunt harsh line. So what I'm going to do, almost as if I'm starting behind this black line. But obviously I'm not. Really, really light. Really light, like barely touching. And small circular motions pull it in towards the middle. Really slowly, really light and delicate. You don't want the harsh line. I think that's looking okay. Is it looking on camera? Just having a quick look. Sometimes as well, if, you, if you're not quite sure, sometimes it's nice 
take a picture of what you've done so far on your phone and then look back at that image and I can guarantee you'll have a better perspective than looking at it with your naked eye. Um, I've done that a few times where I've thought it looks good with the naked eye, sort of. And then I take a picture on my phone and look at the phone and you can spot things more easily. Um, it's like this chin here. Um, I wasn't spot spotting it before, but I think there's something I don't like about that chin area. I need to bring that colour down a bit but when you look on the camera you can actually see better a lot better you can pick things up that's how I do it so as you can see there's no way I'm in mixing pencils I put an Arteza base down, then I put a prism colour over the top. They work well together. No issues there whatsoever. I think I've gone around all bases now. And then I think I can go in with my darker shade. So I'll pop that out the way. And next is the another Arteza pencil. This is the A099 Absinthe Green, which is this one. And with this one, I'm not going to go towards the middle of the face too much. This darkest colour is going to be all around the outsides. And then I'm going to use the middle shade again to bring the dark and the middle um, together without it creating a harsh harsh line so I'm going to use the middle shade as a blend a blending colour almost so this is going to get darker where the shadows would be Does anyone else feel that they're better at unusual skin colours rather than your average coloured skin? Is it just me being weird? <laughs> oh dear. My eldest girl is back at school on Monday. So they've split the classrooms up into two. So there's 15 students in one class and 15 in, in another class. Um, she's in the final year of primary school. So she's, um, I'm glad that she's going back. She needs that time before high school. That transition to high school is such a big, big thing that, you know, it's such a long time that they've had away now. Fingers crossed she enjoys the day. I really wanted to enjoy a day. So I'm going around the outside of the face mainly with this colour now. All around the outsides. Delicately lifting it further up. Like almost teasing it in. Yeah, you're very barely putting colour down. You might not even see it. Or you might think you're not seeing it. Someone's creeping outside my bedroom door. <laughs> it's normally the children getting out of bed. 
Be naughty. Is anyone ordering? Anybody got any pre-orders? Should I say? I know there's quite a lot of books coming out. There's the set of hundred Karen Dash Luminates coming out at some point. So there's two Kirby books coming out um, that you can pre-order at the moment. There's the Fragile World, which really I'm really really interested in that. And apparently it's endangered. Endangered, I can't speak today, I think I'm too tired. <laughs> endangered animals, and I believe it's got some information about the endangered um, animals on the page, um, possibly the page at the side of it. And then there's the Wonder Mafia, which I believe is a combination of images from two of his other books um, is it Imagine Mafia and Geomafia or no, Phantom Mafia and Geomafia it might be don't quote me but it's images from two of his previous books all put into one book so if you've already got all his other books you possibly won't be interested in the Wonder Mafia um, I however I don't have those books um, I only have the Worlds Within Worlds and the uh, Animorphia. So for somebody like me, you know, I'll probably enjoy that book. What else is coming out? Oh, the Intricate Ink, number five. I really want that one. Um, I saw his post on Instagram the other day saying you could order it from, was it Pomegranate? Or something like that the website i'm sure it was pomegranate um but there wasn't shipping to the uk um so i put a little comment on to him asking when it would be available on amazon because i noticed when you search intricate ink 5 it does come up on amazon but it says unavailable at the moment um and he said around 10 days he'd been told by amazon that it would be on there so it could be any day now that it's put on Amazon if you want to keep watching that if you like the intricate ink books I'm not coloured in mine yet I got my first one um, last week and I love the images in it but I do need to colour in it I'm just going to turn my book slightly because I am left handed it's getting a bit tricky to get into this corner now left handed problems <laughs> so yeah once you map out where you, want, where you want your light to be bouncing off it's, it's fairly simple as long as you keep a light touch, a light hand, lots of light layers, um, you should be fine. It's just about keep doing it, keep practicing. And you can keep judging it up till you get to a point where you think that looks, I'm happy with that, that looks nice. And then you can either leave it or you can burnish it. Um, that's completely up to you. Um, that depends what look you're going for. I tend to leave mine a lot. I don't. I don't really um, bother much with burnishing. Sometimes I do it by accident when I don't want to, and then I can't go over my, with more colour. That's my usual trick. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to go dark right under the eyelid, um, right under here, still leaving the white where the cheek, under the eye, but right here where the lids are, going to go in darker and then lift off towards the inner eye, 
can see that gives a nice effect. I'll turn the view I do this side. So I'll get my hand across. There we go, we're in the eye there. Rolling shadow at the side of the head when your hair flops down by you. Yes. Oh, your eyes. So I hope you don't mind the length of this video. I thought that why I'm showing you how to do it, it's nicer to do it in a real time rather than speeding it up and trying to get um, trying to get text in there and I think it's nicer to explain. Properly a bit. I'm going to darken up where it would really be dark over there and then I'll go over to the other side. I think we're nearly done now guys. Turn your end again. Don't know what time it is here now. I've not got my time on me. <laughs> Don't know who's streaming now on this colour of them. The toddlers had me up all last night though. I think I caught a glimpse of someone streaming it in the middle of the night. And the babies won't be. I'm going darker there, really much darker. Right in the corners. And blend out. Might even get my light lightest shade in a minute and just go over this to soften it. Fill in the gaps a bit. I hope you can get the idea. I hope you've um, really took something away from this. Right, so I'm going to go in um, with my medium colour. So I'm going to switch this up for the... The Prismacolor again, because I forgot to go up and darken the nose up here a little bit. See so yeah, how you can't you can't see. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with this one. So this is the Prismacolor again. This is the PC nine eight nine. I'm just gonna darken it up. I do want it to be noticeable. I don't want you to not be able to see where that structure is. Towards the brow, remember. So you're going up towards the brow and stopping at the brow. Again, when you're coming towards the white bits, you need to do a really light touch. look here yeah, that's a bit better you can see a bit more of a um, structure to that so does anyone feel a bit more comfortable confident about tackling this sort of skin tones now if you didn't before you might be brilliant at skin you might be better than this I bet you are better than this. I'm not the best at skin, I have to say. But does anyone feel like confident enough to have a go now? I'm, 
got a murder for wobbling the table. I've got a heavy hand, to be honest. I know I'm being light with this, but <laughs> I still rock the table. Rocking my camera everywhere. But you're all seasick. <laughs> Motion sickness. <sighs> right. I think that might be pretty much where I want that now. Yeah. So last of all I'm gonna get my lightest shade. So my lightest shade is the Arteza Lime Green. And I'm just gonna blend everything together. So you can start at the edge where it's darker and you can blend it all together. I always blend with my lightest shades. Um I find that more effective. blend this bit out that you've just done right there. so then a little white bits that you've missed you can fill in with this lightest shade as well might have a bit of white in your paper it is a bit toothy over here now actually I can see So I think that's pretty much it guys, what do we think, let me zoom out a bit, what do we think of that? So that's our lightest colour we used, our middle and our darkest shades, bring you in. There we go. <laughs> so I hope you find that useful. Um, if you'd like me to do any other tutorials, or if, you, if there's anything else you want to see, drop me a comment. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Um, do ring the notification bell if you want to receive notifications when I drop new content. And thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>